probably want to know the secrets to why do I train? Why do I work out every day? And let me tell you why I want to work out every day. It's not only just, you know, yo, working out, you know, attracts the chicks. It's not just that. It's it's mostly because mostly <laughs> it's mostly because I want to set goals for myself. I want to be able to become more successful at it. I want to be able to pile on more weight as far as lifting, you know, like I lift 45 pound dumbbells, like uh, chest press it, and then I'll go from 45 to like 60 all of a sudden eventually, because I actually started out doing, um, I started out with 20 pounds, I'm not kidding guys, like what, I did 20 pounds of these dumbbells, and then now I'm up to like 70, but I kind of dropped to 60, I don't know why, it's because I think I, uh, but yeah, it's very impressive that I'm able to go from 20s to 60s to 70s, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, that's pretty impressive, like, and that took lots of blood, lots of sweat, lots of training, and I just really want to look like, like, I want to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger, okay, back in his prime, and uh, when he was Mr. Universe, that's, that's the bodybuilding type I want to get on myself, and so I, I, I need to train hard every day, eat right, it's all about eating right too, um, doesn't mean you have to go on a diet, you know, be a vegetarian and stuff like that. Um, you could just eat, just eat good, you know, eat like organic food and stuff like that. Eat, uh, you might have to spend a little extra money, but you know what? You are what you eat. So you eat good, you become good. You eat like crap, you become crap. So don't be eating McDonald's, Taco Bell and all that stuff all day. And, uh... Yeah, so pretty much you got to lay low on that stuff. And uh, it's all about basically you got to eat good, sleep good, and work out good. You know, you got to do those three things if you want to get a good body. And uh, also, you should you should learn about it too. You should go online, bodybuilding.com, and just like learn about it. Because it's important to know what you're up against. Like know your routine, know, know your workout routines and stuff like that. Because what if you hit a body plateau? You, you want to know ideas. That's why I look at a lot of bodybuilders and see their results and see how they can bust through a plateau. So I could bust through my plateau too. And uh, you always want to take supplements after working out. I say I recommend creatine and chocolate pro whey protein shake. Well, it doesn't have to be chocolate, but it could be any flavor. As long as it's like whey protein, if you're trying to build muscle and... Uh, if you're trying to lose weight, I'd recommend not taking whey protein. Probably, maybe it maybe it is good for losing weight too. I don't. I think it helps with uh, burning body fat, but I'm not quite sure. But this is mostly more for you know guys who are skinny trying to build muscle, and uh, it's mostly more for that. But they do make uh, weight loss supplements also, and uh, I'd recommend you guys. You don't have to train seven days a week. No, <laughs> I do it anyways. But uh, I work out like before work. So that's five days a week right off the bat, or six days actually. But I work, I, I lift weights four days a week, and I do cardio three days a week. See, that's seven days a week. So uh, Mondays, uh, usually I do chest triceps. Tuesdays, I do back biceps. Wednesdays, shoulders and shoulders and traps. Maybe some arms too. But usually I kind of skip arms sometimes. I usually do it every other week. And uh, Friday, or did I skip Thursday? Thursday I do legs, leg workouts. You know, you got to work on the calves. You got to work on the thighs. You just got to work on those. And then Friday is when I do cardio, you know, stair-stepping. I don't recommend you do treadmill running. Like, um, if you want to do a, because uh, it's actually bad for your feet, apparently, treadmills. Let alone running in general is actually bad for your joints on your feet. It could hurt you. So I'd recommend stair walking. Um, you can just increase if you want to do a high intensity cardio, trying to burn fat. Um, I only do it for 20 minutes though, because 20 minutes of cardio is all you really need. You'll burn like 250 calories or two, 230 ish, two, 230 calories. I remember, I remember when I was in high school, I did like, but don't focus. If you're trying to gain weight, don't focus on how, how much calories you are burning. Focus more on the timing. The distance, it's more important to know like, oh, okay, yeah, I ran like two miles. Yeah, but if you're trying to burn fat, you do want to focus on your calories, actually. 
Uh, I used to think like that. I used to be like, yo, I got to burn 300 calories, um, 400 calories. The max I've ever done was 500 calories. I passed out after that. I went straight to bed. I was just like, oh, pouring down sweat. I, well, I jumped in the cold shower, then went straight to bed. I was, I was just so beat, so out of energy. Uh, but I was so addicted to cardio back then, back before I even, I could afford it, before I even had a job, and before I could afford a gym membership. And now that I can afford a gym membership, um, it's only 10 bucks a month, I'd recommend Crunch Fitness. You can just work out, have fun. Yeah, I'd take advantage of your gym membership and just go out every day. <laughs> nah, I mean, that's what I do, but you don't, don't do what I do. I mean, sometimes when you hit a body plateau, your body probably needs to rest for a week or so. Like, I don't, I don't rest for a week though. Like, I, I still keep going at it. I'm just like, dude, I'm gonna find as much ways. Like, ch I change out my workouts too. I have to change it up and be like, yo, I gotta find as many ways to defeat this plateau. There's gotta be a way for me to get over it naturally. But there, um, so I have to change out my workouts. I do some different workouts that I'm not used to doing. Maybe like, like, like as usual. Like I don't do it very common, but I, then I do it. And so I have to do it in order to do that. So I added in, you know, deadlifts and stuff like that. Um, muscles, I think it's important to train. In my opinion, my favorites are, I like doing chest workouts. I like doing bicep workouts. Um, I used to love doing leg workouts uh, until I, I kind of like, I don't know. I was just so easy of beating my maxes on legs until I hit a body plateau. Then it's like, Ah oh, man, I can't beat my max. <laughs> it's like I, I I can't even reach my current max. Like, jeez, I used to do. I used to be a lot better on that. But um, yeah. But so, what I'd recommend you lift three days a week, or you know that's all you need. You need to train. You you only need to train like three, four to five days a week. Three, four, five days a week is all you need to train for. Um, don't train more than that. Unless you want to be, uh, if, unless you're hella dedicated to go to the gym, but don't work, don't lift weights seven days a week. I've done it before. Didn't give my body enough time to recover. It gave me body stretch marks, body mark stretch marks, and that's actually a good sign for you to lay low on the gym and just be like, yo, you got to rest, man, because your body's growing too fast to the point your muscles are growing so fast that your skin can't recover fast enough. Your skin's not handling it, so it's just, it's like rubber. It's like, uh... It's getting stretch marks all over. So um, not fat stretch marks, muscle stretch marks. So uh, that's all I wanted to let you guys know. Uh, ask me questions. Go ahead. Leave comments below. Draw me a like. Subscribe. This is JJ D. Uchiha, even though I don't know why I keep saying that name. Uh, and have an awesome day.